Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to beautiful Eugene Snyder Field here in Argus, Indiana. Steve Stricker here with you this evening. Phil Dean on the camera for us. Uh, thought we were going to get the band back together here tonight. Andy Stone, uh, your voice of Argus Sports, is uh, taking on a little bit of a new role here at Argus in uh, athletic director co-athletic director or tri-co-athletic director um, so he's actually over at uh, Kankakee Valley tonight the girls kicking off their season tonight over at Kankakee Valley so uh, things a little different here with our setup obviously everything's been a little different here with our setups uh, for the last few months but we're just glad to be here on the pitch uh, the 2019 IHSAA Class 1A state champion Argus Dragons on the pitch for their first match of the season. They're taking on the Warsaw Tigers here this evening. Warsaw comes in 0-1 on the year. Lost their opening matchup to Carroll out of Fort Wayne 1-0. We're going to talk a little bit about uh, the starters here as soon as Isaiah gets done announcing them. So one of the changes they've made, obviously, is the uh, way that they're doing uh, starting lineups kind of on the fly. Uh, they're not lining up and, and doing the regular starting lineups like they normally would. So uh, as soon as I get the list back from my Isaiah, we'll go over that. And, you know, this is an Argus Dragons team coming in off of a historic season last year, winning the state in Class 1A. Uh, they got some shoes, uh, big shoes to fill in some uh, seniors they lost to graduation last year. Starts off in uh, the uh, front with uh, Chino Roque uh, graduating. Then, uh, of course, Owen Nifong, the uh, versatile player. He played a lot of different positions, played in the middle, played in the back, played in the front. Uh, wherever you needed him, uh, he was uh, available for uh, Coach Vanderweel. Uh, you know, Sam Manikowski was a, a big-time defender for the Dragons for all four of his years as well. Uh, Caleb Ellis, the 2019 uh, Mental Attitude Award winner. And then uh, J.J. Riddle and Shane Stevens. I'm hoping I'm not forgetting any of them, but uh, you got some uh, pretty big shoes to fill with the, that group. Uh, who graduated last year, but they have a, a nice mix of kids back. Let's go over the starting lineups. Uh, we'll start off with the uh, visitors from Warsaw. Uh, so uh, the keeper is Miles Burkholder, a senior. In the middle is number two, Julian Saldivar. He's just a freshman for the Tigers. In uh, the back is Dennis Hernandez, a sophomore. In uh, another back defender for Warsaw is Daniel Warner, a senior. One of their forwards is Brandon Lopez, a junior. Javier in Enciso, I'm sorry if I mispronounced that, I probably did, a sophomore. Alexis Vargas, another sophomore, is a defender. Alejandro Murillo is a senior midfielder. Ashton Wade is a junior midfielder. Nathan Daly is a sophomore forward. And Ethan Grill is a senior midfielder for the Tigers. Just getting underway here at Argus High School, their opening matchup of the 2020 season. Glad you could tune in to the broadcast here on RTC TV 4 and on Argus TV. Uh, so the Argus Dragons starting lineup, number three, Devin Allen, a senior forward. Number four, Colton Markley, a senior defender. Number six, Cameron Markley, a senior midfielder. Number seven, Gabe Stone, a senior midfielder. Number eight, Karsden McCramer, a senior defender. Number 10, Michael Richard, a junior midfielder. Number 11, Teddy Redinger, a junior forward. Number 13, Caden Brady, a junior defender. 15, Caden Nifong, a senior midfielder. 
Number 19, Connor Tracy, a junior defender. And in the goal is number 73, Kirk Johnson. So you, you heard a lot of upper class, you know, juniors and seniors for the Argus Dragons. So despite the uh, seniors that graduated last season for them, still have a, uh, a nice group of upperclassmen coming back here this year. So 35 and some change still to go here in the first half of play. And uh, just wanted to uh, get everybody up to date what we're doing. We were hoping to have a um, volleyball match down at Winnemac going on right now as well. But uh, that, as well as a, uh, a few soccer matches, cross country and volleyball on Thursday and football on Friday all at Winnemac have been canceled due to a positive COVID test at Winnemac. So they're uh, kind of on hold down there for the time being as far as the athletics go. But uh, we got uh, some action for you here tonight and hoping to have some action for you tomorrow night. Uh, some volleyball coming from Tippecanoe Valley as they uh, open their home season up against Plymouth. The, uh, this is still kind of new to me. I didn't watch a ton of soccer last year. They changed the home and away. Your home teams for years and years and years and uh, soccer would wear their uh, white uniforms. And last season they changed that. Now the home teams wear their dark uniforms. So the Dragons in their black with white numerals, white trim down the side and the visitors from Warsaw wearing their white uniforms with black letters, black numerals, and looks like all white shoes. So uh, Argus going from our right to left here, still in the uh, first 10 minutes of half number one. You're right there, Isaac? Okay. Argus number five in class 1A. I got, uh, we'll put, uh, give Val a headset here. We got Val T, the uh, brand new sports editor here at uh, RTC. There's a shot. That looks like, was that Redinger? Teddy Redinger, uh, one of those players uh, last year as a sophomore for the Dragons, uh, really stepped up, had a huge sophomore year, uh, very instrumental in that uh, semi-state win up at South Bend St. Joe, and uh, you know had a great game down at the uh, state game as well. Uh, a lot of uh, you know really good players coming back. The Markley twins, uh, seniors this year. That's uh, that's a little hard to imagine. I can remember uh, as they were freshmen coming in and uh, doing such a great job. Colton has moved out of the goal, putting Kirk Johnson in the goal this year, and so he's a defender uh, to start things off. Uh, some of the other uh, of note, of course, Gabe Stone, a senior this year. He uh, was an instrumental player in the uh, state championship last year. Uh, Michael Richard, uh, another junior, had a huge year last year for the Dragons as well. So uh, despite the losses from graduation, uh, they do have a, uh, a very talented group back and uh, a lot of upperclassmen uh, on the pitch here tonight. Attack there by the Tigers, but nice defense by the Dragons. 
pushing it up ahead, but uh, a little bit too far. Almost a little bit of misplay there by the uh, Warsaw defender, but the keeper able to uh, come up and clear it out. Again, want to wish the Lady Dragons good luck tonight as they are over at Kankakee Valley opening uh, their 2020 campaign against the Cougars, their uh, normal first uh, game matchup. We will have them in action here on Thursday as they open their home part of the season up against the Lady Pilgrims from up at Plymouth High School. Nice attack down the middle, right down the gut, and the keeper comes out, makes a stop, and the left foot. And Michael Richard gets the Dragons on the board, starting things off with a uh, nice rebound shot into the goal for the Dragons, putting them up 1-0 with 29.45 to go here in the first half. Let me see if I got this right here on the instant replay. I did, awesome. I'm still a little rusty as well. There's a shot of the goal by Richard and the Dragons are on the board. Shot just a bit outside by number 20, Nathan Daly from uh, Warsaw. <laughs> 28 and Approaching the 28-30 mark here in the first half. Dragons lead 1-0 over the Warsaw Tigers. On the goal by Michael Richard off of the uh, rebound. He took the shot, it was blocked, stuck with it and uh, was able to uh, punch it in. Good, uh, good defense there by the Tigers, able to uh, thwart the uh, attack there by Cameron Markley. And back the other way on the offensive are the Tigers. They might have a uh, penalty on Warsaw, looked like a uh, two-handed push on the back of Gabe Stone. It's going to be a free kick here coming up for Argus. Apologize for the little sunspot there on the screen. It's uh, hard shooting into the sun, and it's uh, pretty intense right now. It'll be uh, kind of fading down here in the next few minutes. So we'll, uh, I told Phil, just do the best you can right now, and uh, hopefully it'll... Uh, Settled down here a little bit. Beautiful, beautiful night here in uh, Argus. And it's the middle of August and uh, nice little breeze here. And, uh, probably what, low 80s I would say, temperature wise with the breeze. It feels uh, just uh, about perfect. Argus returns the favor, gets a uh, foul call on the far side of the pitch. Nice pass into the middle, but uh, all the Argus defense was there able to uh, thwart that attempt by Warsaw. Thank you. 
sub coming in. Warsaw of uh, sophomore, number 18, Christian Malagon. Got him listed in the forward slot. First uh, sub of the game for either team. Nice shot up to Stone. Got a uh, couple options there. Decides to take the shot way, uh, way high right there. And uh, be a free kick coming up here for the Tigers. Goal kick. Nice play, able to keep that one in. Warsaw still pushing. We got uh, a couple guys up front there. The Dragons do a nice job getting back. Caden Brady able to uh, send that one forward. And looks like we're going to have an offsides call on the Tigers. So far, the Dragons have uh, pretty much dominated possession here at the uh, early going. We've got uh, about 23 and a half minutes still to go here in the first half, so pretty early yet in the game, but uh, Dragons uh, able to uh, keep possession most uh, for the most part. Uh, do have a foul called on the Dragons, so it'll be a free kick here for Warsaw. And great job coming out off of his line. Kurt Johnson able to thwart that attack attempt by Warsaw. Levy, a kind of uh, clean first five minutes in uh, the last two or three minutes here. We've had a couple fouls by each squad. There's a deflection in. I'll have to see who uh, who got that. Uh, there was a, about four different dragons. Did you catch that one? So uh, let's see if I caught that one again. We'll take another look at that and uh, see off of uh, off the corner there. And I am going to say that was Redinger. Yeah, 11. Teddy Redinger with the goal. I hope you weren't waiting on me to say that. <laughs> okay. That goal with uh, 21 and some change left puts the Dragons up 2 0 over the Tigers. So, so far, the uh, Dragons doing a great job here, kind of just uh, keeping on where they left off in 2019. Lead 2-0 with 21-20 to go here in the first half against the uh, powerhouse Warsaw Tigers. Uh, you know, the Warsaw is a 6A school in football, 3A school in soccer. You know, they have... Uh, 
probably as many kids in, in one class that uh, Argus has in their whole school system. Maybe even more than that. Not sure how many Warsaw has in a class, but uh, Argus numbers about 600 K through 12 here. Another foul here on the uh, Tigers. So free kick coming up for the Dragons. Oh. Looks like we're going to have a card issued here to uh, number, is that 10? Of Warsaw. Yellow card. Brandon Lopez with 2032 to go. So 2032 Dragons lead 2-0. Yellow card issued to Junior Brandon Lopez from the Warsaw Tigers. That was yellow, right? Everything looks yellow from here with the sun shining in my eyes. Vargas checks in for Warsaw. And Ben Rangel, I believe that's the first sub for the Dragons. Is it? Okay. Guess I missed one. So Mills, number 16, had came in earlier. And number nine, Jake Stoltz, had checked in as well for the Dragons. Stoltz on the far side with the ball. Yeah, he's AD over there tonight. Kicked out of bounds. Going to be a throw in for the Dragons. <laughs> There's a lot of changes now. Good back and forth action there, but the ball still stays on the uh, Dragons side of the field. And uh, the pressure uh, by Richard right there, keeping the uh, Tigers on their uh, back heels a little bit right now. And nice job there by Markley getting in front and uh, taking that ball away. There was a little bit of an advantage there for the uh, Tigers. Actually, it might have been McCramer. I can't tell if that was a six or an eight, but uh, good effort there by the Dragons. That one's a little too far up, and the keeper comes out and is going to clear it out here for the Tigers. Markley and Redinger come back in for Argus.
Banger up the stone. Nice opportunity right there. Dragons uh, not able to convert. 16-19 left here in the first half. Dragons lead 2-0 over the Warsaw Tigers. Again, thanks for tuning in to uh, our broadcast here tonight. It's the season opener for the Argus Dragons here at the Perfect Pitch, Eugene Snyder Field. I'd like to say that Mr. Snyder was here, but uh, he's uh, not here. It's kind of a looming absence, but uh, things are a little different. Probably uh, wanting to stay home and, and stay uh, safe there for uh, Mr. Snyder. So if you see Mr. Snyder, tell him that uh, we said hi. Dragon throw in on the far side. Fong check back in. Nice ball up ahead. Good job there by the Tigers to uh, thwart the attack by the Dragons. Gonna be out, throw in here for Argus on the near side. Job there by Markley keeping that one in play. Nice job there by Colton Markley. That was a uh, through ball that was going to be dangerous, but uh, able to uh, head that one back towards the Argus end. Rangel plays it up ahead. And it's going to go out off of uh, Warsaw, so it's going to be a throw in here. Stoltz going to take it on the far side. Dragons pushing up. Centering pass picked off by Warsaw and sent to the far sideline out of bounds. So another throw in coming here for the Dragons. Through ball there, looks like he's on. And uh, stumbling towards the ball was Johnson, but uh, fortunately it was wide of the goal. That might have been one of those that kind of trickles into the goal there. Johnson was uh, having some trouble with his footing, uh, trying to get to, the, uh, to his left there, but fortunately it trickles out of bounds and is a uh, harmless attempt from Warsaw. Another through ball attempt there. It's going to be too hard for the Tigers and Johnson able to come off his line and corral that one. We'll send it back the other way. And 
Misplayed there by Warsaw. It's going to be a throw in. A quick throw in, but the uh, official had called for substitutions. And Siso and Vargas come in for Warsaw. Michael Richard checks back in for the Dragons. Approaching the 10 minute point here in half number one. Dragons lead 2 0 over the Warsaw Tigers. They got goals uh, started off by uh, Michael Richard with 29 and 50 to go. And Teddy Redinger scored with uh, 21 50 to go in the first half. Ooh, nice job right there. Uh, good play. Centering pass, opportunity there. Johnson down, but the attempt is off uh, offline. But a uh, good job there by Warner, the senior def uh, that defender. Hmm. He was on the offensive end that time for the Tigers, for sure. Is that a nine or an eight? Maybe that's an eight. Well, that's a nine. That was Warner. Kick coming up here on the penalty by the Dragons. Devin Allen going to check in, check back in, the senior forward. Throw in here by the Dragons on the far side. And a uh, nice attempt there off of the left foot by Michael Richard, but uh, just a little bit above the crossbar there. Have a Warsaw offsides back here more towards the midline. So it's going to be Argus's ball on the uh, offside call. Look it off, look it off. 
Keeper off the line there for the Tigers, able to corral that one. Approaching the five minute mark here in first half of action, Dragons lead two nil over the Tigers. Trying to add to it here, Redinger not able to chase that one down and it's gonna go out, be a throw in for the Dragons. Richard over to Stone, Stone left foot, nice pass over to Nifong and then uh, ricochets uh, inadvertently but it's off his hand, gonna be a handball. Nice look there, Stone, just a little bit behind him. Dragon's just trying to keep everything in front of him, and there's another offside call here by the uh, Tigers. comes out, able to uh, corral that for the Tigers. And that's gonna be a little bit of a push there by Argus number 19, Connor Tracy. And free kick here for the Tigers. Lopez comes into the match for the Tigers. Approaching the two minute mark here in the first half. And we got a uh, dragon down there. Looked like a uh, knee on knee collision possibly. It's gonna be Gabe Stone there gets the uh, brunt of that one. Kinda able to walk that one off though. Looks like Gabe's gonna be all right. Centering pass. Oh, that was a sweet little bicycle kick there by number 11 of the uh, Incesio of uh, Warsaw. Again, sorry if I say that wrong. Inciso. And uh, yeah, Colton Markley uh, was able to uh, knock that one out for the Dragons. So some good defense here at the end of the first half by the Dragons. Let's see if they can keep the clean sheet through the uh, first half with about 40 seconds to go. Richard has the ball, 
Try to push it up there to Redinger, but the uh, Warsaw defender was there. Got a little jam up right there at the goal. Nice job by uh, Dragons. Need to get it cleared out. Under 10 seconds to go. Oh, that was uh, probably a little unnecessary there. And uh, that might bring out the uh, little yellow square piece of paper out of the referee's pocket on that play there by Tracy. Let's see what happens. No? They're going to let her ride. Pretty hard hit there at the end of the half by Tracy, but uh, everything uh, looks like everybody's all right. The half comes to a close. Argus leads 2-0 over Warsaw on the goals by Michael Richard and Teddy Redinger. We're going to take a quick break. We're going to thank some of our wonderful sponsors here for RTC TV4 and... Argus TV, and we'll be back. Second half action from Eugene Snyder Field. Dragons lead 2-0 at the half. How is Alliance Bank different from the rest? We're secure. We provide solutions to our clients. We have integrity. We stand by our word. We're responsive. We invest in our communities. We're reliable. We believe in our team. The difference is we are your community bank. At Alliance Bank, we're in this together. Let RTC TV4 highlight your business or service in our local sports coverage. Through our platform, you have the option to use a 30 second commercial that you already have, or you can have us make a 15 second logo sponsorship for you. With eight local schools in our partnership, we're sure you'll reach your intended audience. Sponsor with RTC TV4 today. At Co-Alliance Propane, we treat our customers like neighbors because, well, that's what we are. When you trust Co-Alliance Propane as your seriously local propane provider, you're trusting a team of professionals who live, work, and watch the game from right across the county, not the country. A team that's close by and seriously dedicated to your safety and providing the best service possible. Find out more about Co-Alliance Propane's seriously local service and how you can get 50 gallons of propane free at CoAlliancePropane.com. Lunch at Wings Etc. means special prices on burgers, wings, wraps, and wreckers all week long. Now that's special. Whether I'm at work or on the go, I've always got one thing on my mind. And now I can order it all online. Hello, I'm Harry Webb of Webb's Family Pharmacy. Were you one of nearly 7,000 patients we served last year? If not, I'd like to invite you to check out our locally owned pharmacies. Transferring your business is easy to do. Just one call and we'll take it from there. While our competitive prices are important, our success comes from our knowledgeable and compassionate staff. Make Webb's Family Pharmacy your pharmacy. Just one call and we'll take it from there. Hi, I'm John Oliver. We love our customers and we work hard to prove it every day. Buy a car, get free car washes for the life of that car. When your car needs service, we provide a new loaner at no charge. Plus, we give you a complimentary alignment check each time we service your car. That increases tire life. And when you do need tires, we sell them at the lowest price guaranteed. Feel the love at Oliver Ford Lincoln and Plymouth. The Winning Edge is your local provider for all your school athletic needs. From providing customizable sportswear to engraving trophies, the Winning Edge strives to help teams find their edge on the playing field. Visit the Winning Edge today. Locally owned and operated, Mike's Trash LLC in Rochester is your local service for all your trash removal needs. 
Whether you're a big business or a local resident, Mike's Trash LLC will be sure to take care of all your waste removal needs. Contact Mike's Trash LLC today. In your true value has everything you need to get your next project done. Located on 1619 Main Street in Rochester, Inyard's True Value provides a variety of tools and supplies from trusted brands such as DeWalt and Milwaukee to accomplish even the smallest of jobs. Call 574-223-4920 or visit www.truevaluecompany.com. Townhome Furnishings in Rochester is your one-stop shop for all your furniture and bed frame needs. Located right next to Ann's Bargain Barn, Townhome Furnishings can provide you with all sorts of furniture, from chairs, couches, tables, beds, and more. Come visit Townhome Furnishings today. Hometown service, Townhome style, Townhome Furnishings. Townhome Furnishings, Highway 25 South and US 31. The lawyers and staff of Peterson, Wagoner & Perkins LLP are here to provide the highest quality legal and professional service to their clients presently and for the future. From estate planning and trusts to adoption and family law to appeals, probate and more, Peterson, Wagoner & Perkins has the knowledge and experience to serve you now and in the future. See a full list of services online at peterson-wagoner.com. Are you in need of a great insurance plan? Let Evans Agency help you with plans covering home, vehicle, life, business, farm, health, and senior insurance. With over 16 years of experience, Evans Agency will be sure to match you with the perfect plan. Visit them at www.evansagencyrochester.com or call today at 574-224-6988 for a free quote. Got that new home edition and you're keeping it covered. Ooh, coverages now. I can help with this. Got zone coverage, man coverage, combo coverages. I don't know, Peyton. I think more like the coverage your nationwide agent offers. Oh, you want to go there? Home, auto, life, business, farm, boat, RV, ATV, camper, pet, motorcycle, your tour bus. Right. Did I mention farm? Contact Jennings Insurance Agency today or visit one of our offices in Argus and Rochester. the innocence of youth. Is there anything any better? But soon they'll be in high school and facing all the same challenges you faced. How to make friends, how to fit in, how to be cool. We want our children to have everything they'll need to live fulfilling and productive lives. Make sure the kids in your family are among the more than 160,000 participants here in Indiana who take part in high school sports. Community State Bank has maintained a tradition of service since opening our doors in May of 1930. For the past 88 years, we have been committed to building personal relationships in all of the communities we serve. Offering both personal and business accounts, Community State Bank is your local friend and neighbor. Stop by any of our local offices to set up your accounts today. Online at csbnetbank.com. All right, welcome back here to Eugene Snyder Field as uh, we're getting set to go with the second half of action here. The Argus Dragons leading 2-0 at the half and uh, we're a uh, nice little kickoff to the season for the Dragons, at least in the first half. We'll see if they can hold off here in the second half. They got uh, the scoring underway with 29.50 left. Michael Richard started things off for the Dragons. Teddy Rager followed up with a goal with 21.50 to go in the uh, first half of action. Hello, 
Beautiful night here in Argus. The uh, field looks wonderful. Just glad to uh, to be back on here and have some uh, high school athletics coming your way with uh, all that uh, everyone's been through over the last several months. Get a little piece of uh, normalcy. We've it's going to be kind of a start and stop kind of uh, a fall season for everyone. I have a feeling the uh, Warsaw or Winnemac. Uh, athletic program uh, is on hold right now. They had uh, a case test positive in their high school, so they canceled volleyball tonight and Thursday. And they also had to cancel some uh, cross country and soccer, as well as their Friday opener for football. They were gonna be taking on Knox. Tiffany Valley is on the road tonight taking on Wawa C in their opener for the volleyball season. They will be at home tomorrow night taking on Plymouth. We'll have that one for you on RTC TV 4. And uh, Warsaw comes out really aggressive here to start the second half and a nice opportunity there. But uh, Johnson off the line and able to get the uh, save there on shot by Warsaw. Devin Allen, uh, he has switched to number three this season. Normally uh, used to looking at that and seeing Sam Manikowski out there, just a little bit different size than Devin. I think Devin was wearing number two previously, if I remember correctly. Number one, yeah, might be number one, Isaac says. And we're gonna have some uh, sun in our shot here for the next few minutes as it's uh, approaching the tree line over the park. We'll try and get that uh, filtered out the best that we can as we shoot uh, this game. Must be something about this south end of the field here. Warsaw starting off uh, the where the Dragons were in the first half, keeping the pressure on and the ball down on that end of the field. There is a little bit of a breeze, but I don't think that has anything to do with it. The girls' uh, score is still 0-0. Zero, zero. The Lady Dragons on the road tonight, opening up their season over at Kankakee Valley. Coach Joe Stone and the Lady Dragons coming off of a, a successful season as well last year. They're gonna be here on Thursday, opening up their home part of the season. We'll have that for you here on RTC TV 4 as they take on Plymouth. Nice move there by Warsaw Tigers player number 11, Encisio. 
can apologize if I said that wrong. He's uh, he showed uh, some nice moves a couple different times here in the match. He's centering pass across the net and it's going to be out the end line for a goal kick for the Dragons. Kick sails out of bounds, so uh, Warsaw back on the offense. Good pass, but a nice step through there by the uh, Argus defender, Tracy. Connor. Good job there, Richard holding his ground. Wouldn't let the uh, Warsaw player turn the corner. Through ball attempt, Johnson comes up and corrals that and clears it out with the throw. Ifong <laughs> steps in the middle of that one and uh, turns the tide here a little bit. Got a offside. Or they're going to th call an illegal throw in, maybe. I didn't think there was offsides on. Uh, Rowans. I'm not really sure what the call was. Dragons are getting a free kick out of it. Good job there. Uh, Allen turns the corner, but uh, Warsaw coming back the other way. We're going to attempt a uh, through ball there. And a good job on the defense by Brady. I'm going to try and keep it in bounds and can't quite do it.
Doan on the far side. And looks like we're gonna have an offside call on Redinger. Dragons leading 2-0 here as we approach 31 and a half to go. Second half of action here in their home opener, season opener as well, taking on the Warsaw Tigers. What we got going on there? Corner kick it looks like. So Dragon corner. Far side. Back to the middle. Stone heads it forward. And Warsaw able to clear it out. Just almost a high kick right there. Dangerous play, but uh, they're going to keep going. Gonna get knife on all 110 pounds of him for a foul. I don't think he could knock a leaf over, but they said he knocked over the Warsaw player. And Warsaw had an opportunity there, but they had two, maybe three players that were offside on that one. Good job by the Argus defenders to uh, pull up and let uh, Warsaw go by and uh, force the offsides. 29 and a half minutes to go here in first half of action. Good effort there by Lopez, but uh, the shot sails high over the goal. Aggressive uh, offensive set there. Rangel gonna check back in. Looks like Nifong gonna take a seat on the bench. Nice through ball opportunity again, Warsaw with the offsides. Struggling with that here this evening. A couple opportunities they've had have been uh, gone the other way due to offside calls. Val says that's the ninth. Offside call, I believe that. And uh, make that 10.
And Argus gonna return the favor at the other end. Redinger's gonna be offside. Does punch it in for a uh, good measure, but it's not gonna count. It's gonna come back. Back it up and give the ball to Argus. Hi, Amy. Hello. How are you doing? Hey, I'm good. And welcome in Amy Stone to uh, our little broadcast here. Got Val. I've been see, see Val over there? Hi, Val. I've been volleyballing. Volleyballing? How, uh, how's the volleyball team doing this year? You know what? Everything I know about volleyball, I learned tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't played or seen volleyball in 30 years, and it's changed a little bit. It was exciting. Yeah. They fell to Goshen, but it was it was a good first game. Good, good. So lots of good stuff. A lot of stuff going on here tonight. They got uh, stuff. got yeah. every, a little bit of everybody going. The girls are over at uh, Kanki Valley. The boys are here. Volleyball. And Cross I'm country doing anything? Not that I know of. Oh, okay. That's the only other thing we got left. A lot of their meets are on uh, Saturdays, and yeah. And uh, the girls' score, I'm not sure. What the score is. I tried to talk Less. to Andy, but he didn't <laughs> respond to me. So. Well, I got a response from him at the half, and it was 0-0 zero, zero, or nil-nil. Oh, okay. So I don't know what, what point of the game they were in, but it was our halftime here. Well, he texted me, and he said, uh, he was like, we're down 1-0. And I was telling Andy Pets, who was sitting next to me, oh, we're down. I thought it was JB Boys. I forgot he was over at the girls' game. Oh. Well, that must have been uh, more recent than uh, what I got. Cause it was well, that was zero. JV, so that was a while ago. Oh, that was the JV yeah, and I, score. JV, I think okay. we... Well, the boys uh, had a nice first half. The second half's been a, a little bit more on the Warsaw side of things, uh, but uh, still not able to punch it in. We've got yeah. uh, uh, Val give us uh, a count of about 10 Warsaw offsides. So hmm. they've, they've had a couple opportunities come back because uh, they were offsides. And that, was, that was one of the few that uh, they had an opportunity there with, without being offsides. Yeah. So. Is this Warsaw's first game also? I'm sure you've already, you've already gone through all this. But you for know, me, catch fine. me up yeah. on everything. Uh, second. They second started, game? Okay. Uh, they started over at Carroll in uh, Fort Wayne, lost 1-0 uh, to uh, Carroll. Oh, okay. So 0 and 1 coming in. I tried to call Andy. Of course, now he's trying to call me back. Yeah, I'll send him to voicemail. So just uh, just all excited just to have some. Uh, there's a uh, Argus offside. Just kind of excited just to have some sports. I yeah. Nice. It's been a long five months. It has. It has, and it's it's not. Uh, you know, it's not over yet by any means. We've, we're talking, we had uh, Winnemac had a bunch of stuff canceled this week. I saw that. So, mm. of course, Rochester, you know, theirs is all pushed back. They're, they're not going to get started until next week with okay. even practices. Oh, wow. Yeah. So then they'll have to do 10. Had they practiced at all? Mm. Not yet. No. So their first opportunity for football would be week three. Yeah, they would September have. September 4th, okay. If everything goes well for them. So. I almost feel like this is a September night. It's really chilly. <laughs> it does. It feels. Actually, it feels, it feels awesome. It's not cold at all. Right. It's, it's perfect. Uh, waiting for that sun to go down. We're yeah. having a lot of uh, <laughs> sun issues there in the camera when they're in that. Argus side of the field. I got to tell you, even the volleyball, their son was coming in the one window, and I'm going to have to talk to that guy who handles the facilities over here. You know him? I know him, and he's he might need to put a paper up over the window because it was. And uh, Rangel going to get called there. It's going to be a free kick there for the uh, Tigers. Yeah, it took me a minute. I had to get my soccer. 
Uh, yeah. Lingo back Well, and in. I was hoping, I thought the volleyball started earlier. I was hoping to get out here before now, but. Toss. Got a corner kick. Corner kick yeah. for the Tigers. So I think this is their first corner kick, isn't it, Val? First one for the Tigers. So let's see what they can do off of the corner. The uh, Dragons' second goal came off of a corner. So let's see what happens here off of the Tigers' corner on that side. And uh, that's going to sail ball. wide. Yeah. yeah good ball though it's close yeah. yeah it was good <laughs> closer ball. than we like to see <laughs> right good ball they had the uh the right people in there just uh off of the right of the uh, goal there for the tigers just a bit outside as isaac says a baseball <laughs> <laughs> i've already used that one once you can't oh. use it sorry darn it yeah. number six yep it wasn't the markley markley came back in I swear it was Cameron that came in. Well, he's in, so if it wasn't yeah. him, then he's in. He's just getting a shot. Uh-oh. Oh, oh nice little tap there by Colton. And a good job there by Johnson coming off of his line a little bit. He's, uh, yeah, yeah. Tell the uh, maintenance guy. I know. Yeah. <laughs> needs I wanted to, to do that last year, and I never did. Went and get my Windex out. need to clean the window. <laughs> this, this window over here is clean. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Except for the sun. Yeah. You need a sunglasses and a hat. Well, we're under 20 minutes left here in this one. It's been a quiet second half as far as scoring goes. Both Dragon goals came early in the game. 29 minute and uh, 21 minutes to and go. And you know what? I missed it. Who had those goals? Uh, Michael Richard Kay. had the first one, and then Teddy had the second one. All right. Teddy's came in off of uh, off of a corner, I believe. Michael had a nice uh, yeah, he had a nice uh, offensive attempt, and the keeper stopped it. He kept it alive and, and punched it in off of the uh, rebound. So I am trying to figure out: Do we not have all our people? There is a 17, and I don't know. Is that Caden? No, Caden Prady's 13. I don't know who that is. Hmm. He's 13. Have you seen 13? Oh, shoot, ready to go. Yeah, Brady's. There's a nice opportunity. Might get a little call on that one. Yeah, hands on his back. Jake Stoltz with the hook. Nope, 13 is uh, Caden Brady. No, Maddox didn't play. Well, that's Mike Richard. That's 10. Sean Richard. Is it Sean? Trying to look through. Colton Markley going to check in for the Dragons. That's Sean. I think it's Sean Richard. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Knock myself out. Yeah. Date for Mandy over at the girls' game, still 0 0. Gabe switched numbers this year. Gabe was four last year. Vinny was always seven. He was four last year. Uh -huh. 
Oh. I'm pretty sure. One. Yeah, he he did. He switched two. He took uh, Three. Sam's number. Ah. I don't blame. That was Vinny's number, so that doesn't surprise me. Vinny's got one more year. They're not playing until spring, though. Are they playing this spring? Yeah, because he's D2, and D2 they hopefully. <laughs> yeah. He just got back from boot camp. Really? He says he's in the best shape of his life, and I'm like, oh. <laughs> yeah. No, he he was kind of bummed that they weren't playing because, yeah. Nice run. Good center pass. Nice job by Johnson coming up. The uh, Dragons thwart the attack there by the Tigers. You know, I was talking a little bit, Amy, about uh, the obviously coming off the state championship and, and losing, you know, some really key players like mm -hmm. Chino and Sam Owen. and Owen and uh, even uh, Caleb. And, oh, know, yeah. Um, but you look hmm? – Oh, Pablo. Yeah, yeah, Pablo. I forgot about him. We do have a couple exchange students. They don't have their practices in. I'm yeah. not sure they're – Germany and Spain. Okay. But uh, you look down their uh, their roster, and, I mean, they're stacked with upperclassmen, juniors, seniors, mm -hmm. and uh, only one uh, sophomore even listed on the varsity roster with eight mills, and uh, everybody else juniors and seniors. So, I mean, they've – you know, they've got a, a, a nice, uh, experienced group yeah. back this year. The one downfall, you know, if they go and win regional this year, then uh, next year. Bumping yep. up to 2A. Yep. Sorry, I keep like. Huh. Wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so Rochester and Valley sectional in soccer sounds a little tough. Okay, so Michael was number 17 last year. That's what was throwing me off. Sorry, I have this thing about remembering. I haven't learned their new numbers. I got to right. learn their new numbers. Okay, so Colt Markley is four, and he was he was not four. But the, I know those boys like those numbers, four and six. And then. Oh, it's a one. Now we should get some good camera shots. The sun uh, setting across the uh, park there. And With got about 13 and a half minutes left. Right, to enjoy that. right. Well, you know, it, it towards the end of the season when it's dark when we kick off. That's uh, you know we'll look back on this and. That was what I said about the sun in the gym. It was kind of like right on the, <laughs> right on the face of the player serving, and I thought, well, we don't have to worry about this in basketball because at six o'clock when the game starts, it's dark. <laughs> right. Well, Ben. I'm still trying to think where the where the sun could even come in in the gym. Uh, the windows up in the like cheer room. Oh. And it, one is covered, the other one was not. Markley up ahead, Redinger, and uh, keeper way off his line there, but uh, able to uh, beat Teddy to the ball. Markley. Markley to Markley. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still having trouble with the fact that uh, the Markleys and Gabe and all them are Our seniors. seniors. Yeah. Yeah. Um, when they were in kindergarten soccer, of course you had the Markleys are twins. Mm -hmm. um, Caden Ifong's their cousin. And they all kind of, not that they looked a lot, well, the Markleys did, they looked a lot alike. <laughs> but they'd all wear these little stocking caps, and you'd like, oh, which one is which? Who is who? <laughs> yeah. But we only, co there was only like 80 kids that we were coaching in preschool, and girls and boys, and 
yeah, it was, it was a fun time, good times. Seems like yesterday. Yeah. Played there, the Dragons yeah. got a little bit of opportunity. Nice drop back. Oh, and oh just off the crossbar. crossbar for Markley. That was uh, keepers getting a Looks little like mad. Looks like Connor Tracy and Caden Nifon coming in. Number fifteen, Caden Nifon. Number nineteen, Connor Tracy. I remember those numbers, Isaac. See, those two I remember. Plus, I can tell who they are. Approaching uh, 10 minutes to go here in the opener for the Dragons. Score has uh, remained the same throughout the second half here. 2-0 in uh, favor of the defending state champions. That's got a nice ring to it. Yeah. Now the, let's see. Yeah, that's right. Your conference is uh, kicking in this year. Mm -hmm. The Who's your planes? That Val? Is that what you said? So, soccer is considered in the in that conference. The yes. The NISC is. Can I is tell you who? Is yeah. They still have. That's a good question. Yeah. Are they keeping the other? It's just so that was just soccer. That was I just a soccer conference. No one tells me nothing, Steve. Yeah. Keeping the Northern Indiana Soccer Conference? Are they keeping that soccer conference going? I don't know. That's a good question. Well, but it had, yeah, because it had Bethany Christian and Trinity and. Yeah, so what? Bethany, Trinity, the Academy. Elkhart Christian, the new conference. Oh, yeah. Um, I don't know. I should know that, but I don't know all those. Uh, girls play Plymouth here Thursday. Do you know that? Yeah, we'll be here. With bells on? Uh, no, we'll be here. No, no bells. <laughs> no bells. Uh, let's see. JV kicks off at 5 on Thursday. With varsity at 7. And then a bunch of games on Saturday, but those are all away. Yeah, we'll be here on Saturday. Um, Volleyball? Uh, or f no, we'll be here on Thursday. Thursday. Yeah. You said Saturday, and then my mind went S right Nope, to Saturday, Saturday is uh, the boys play at Oak Hill. Uh, they, that starts at 11 in the morning. The girls actually are traveling to Northwestern at 4. Okay, down so. in uh, Howard County. Yeah. So we have uh, Tiffany Valley opens their home volleyball. We have that tomorrow night. Then back here in Argus for the girls' home opener for soccer on Thursday. And then back to Valley. So it's a it's an Argus Valley, Argus Valley for the next four days with Val. <laughs> At Valley with Val. Yeah. That sounds like a new chat. Like a that's a good uh, marketing. <laughs> yeah. So now, how can dragons? How can we view this? Has this this has changed, right? Uh huh. Of course, since we're talking about it now, if someone's viewing it, they figured it out. Right, right. But if not, then they haven't. Because I did have a couple people text me, and I'm like, I'm doing a volleyball game. I don't know. <laughs> the the best way is to uh, follow us on Twitter. Okay. At RTCTV4. And I will be posting links uh, before the game, so they can just click on that and okay. go, go right to it. Um, Eventually, Argus TV is going to have its own landing spot, and it's going to be owned by Argus. Okay. Completely. So that'll be 
Uh, right now we're still broadcasting on RTC TV4, but uh, eventually it will land all on the Argus page on IHSA TV. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Okay. So everything's going through IHSA TV. Good deal. Yep. I had to I had to tell her unfortunately I it yeah. was too early in the season and I wasn't quite sure what was going. On. Yeah. Well, it's it's just a, a move that we made for a couple different reasons and it's going to make it more sustainable for everybody and it's going to make the postseason a little bit more uh, you know, you're going to cover your own stuff a little bit more readily. Okay. So, yeah. I think it's going to be a good uh, good change for everyone. And, of course, you see Val over here. Yeah, I, and, I had uh, seen that. Yeah, he's, he's Val is a plethora of information, yeah, so he, he is, is uh, integral to this he's part because he gets all this, these stats and they're just in his head. I don't yeah. know. He's our new sports editor. I Yeah. RTC, yeah. I, so. <laughs> and he has a badge and everything, so yep. it's official. Keep, keep an eye out for that. Uh, our website, rtc4.com, uh, we're going to have a uh, tie into the blog page. Uh, I believe we're going to launch next Tuesday, hopefully. Okay. And uh, it'll be neat because we'll have his normal daily recap, but then we'll also have the ability to click on Argus and see the stories that he's done on Argus okay. and Caston and Culver and Winnemac and Pioneer and and that's the one he's working on. Pioneer, new for him. Looks like Devin Allen's coming back into the game. Of course, Rochester and Valley as well in, uh, in that mix for. Uh, now tease Isaac. He's got used to it. <laughs> Binoculars. And what else was I going to ask you, Steve? Or something else? You think I can remember now? Oh, it'll come to me. It always happens at the uh, most inopportune times for me. I forget until mm -hmm. I want to think of something else. Now, if they want to score a goal, that, that would make me forget, and I'd be okay with that. Yeah, not not Warsaw. No, 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 not Warsaw. No, yeah. no, no. The Dragons. Yeah. We are under five minutes to go here in the in the game, and uh, score remains 2-0 for Argus. Good way to start out the season. Yeah. Warsaw often is a game that is – not necessarily on the right side of the balance sheet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. they're a tough team. You know, it's a larger school. And uh, a little bit. <laughs> yeah. It's a couple. Yeah, yeah. Lots more people than we have. <laughs> I, <laughs> I think they have more people in their school than we have in our town. I don't know. I don't know how many people go to Warsaw. Uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm thinking there's more in a grade in the high school at Warsaw than there is in the entire Argus school system. I think there's 2,500 in the high school, possibly. 25. I think that's just the high school. It's a big school. <laughs> yeah, the whole the whole corporation uh, in 2020 had 7,033 students. That that's the whole. Yeah. All yeah. of. Let's see now. I need to look up. Argus has always been at 1,600. <laughs> the, the town. As long as I remember. Yeah, the yeah. town, the town. Yeah. Even if Two, they don't 2,120 have in Warsaw High School in 2017-18 is the, just glancing at my phone was the earliest, newest I could find. <laughs> <laughs> it might be. I don't know. Now I got to look that up, Val. <laughs> Val's giving me more stuff to look up. Oh, we got a uh, penalty here coming up. This is going to be kick a outside the box. just outside the box. Just a bit outside. So <laughs> this, this ought to be. That's for you, Isaac. Clock ticking I down. I know he said that. He said that. Clock ticking down to two and a half. He's going to ask for some distance there, I'm thinking. Yeah. Well, they were too. Yeah, they were actually farther away than they needed. Well, to they be. moved back when yeah. he started. When he came over, they moved back. And a lefty to a lefty gave gave got a good left foot. I don't think uh, Michael was uh, anticipating that pass, but uh, still uh, still on the offense here for the Dragons. Gabe using the body to shield off, but uh, I guess yeah, not sure what. Yeah, yeah. Come from behind, but whatever. Two 
ball. Two all. Two all. Knife on. Coach pulling uh, Colt Markley, who played in goal last year, out of the goal box. Yeah. Putting him on defense. Well, he lost uh, Sam yeah. Manikowski, yeah. who'd been a defender for, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ever. Yeah. Seemed like six years, but uh, it was just four. You know, I always, <laughs> I always say defense wins championships. Yeah. Because you can score all the goals you want, but if you don't have the defense to back it up, you're... Well, and I, I was always uh, very impressed. And a little bit of chance here. Uh, Richard couldn't get it back over to Ted. Um, you know, Nifong, his freshman year, was on the offense. And, and he played offense, I think, quite a bit through. I mean, I didn't see his games growing up. but Yeah. And when uh, when Coach Vanderwill asked him to, to step back and, and play defense, he you did. know, he did. And he uh, he really did a great job. And, you know, there were some games where they moved him up, and there were some games where they had him in the middle, but mostly in the back. And, uh, you know, him and Sam back there, they were they were a force to be reckoned oh, yeah. with. And, Put Markley in the goal behind them, and and obviously. And then they had Karsten, McCramer, and Gabe. I think yeah. Gabe played goal or defense last year. Yeah. On the left side. You, you see the uh, the results, obviously, of of what the unselfishness uh, mm -hmm. you know does, and and really. Uh, I can't the say team. anything. I mean, we didn't have school soccer when I was in school. We only you know, had recreational, but I always played defense. <laughs> yeah. So did my daughter. So. Yeah. Yep. Well, last uh, last ten seconds here and oh, uh, just a powder. Oh. oh gosh, got the ricochet. Almost had it in there. Oh, well, I'm gonna hit that one. That was a, a neat that's little a, play. <laughs> that's replay worthy. Yeah. So the uh, final score uh, for uh, the opener here for the Dragons, uh, winning two nil over Warsaw, so uh, a great start to the season. Start yeah. off 1-0. and oh. The uh, Tigers will fall to 0-2 on the season. Uh, we'll be back with some more action on RTC TV for tomorrow night from uh, Tiffany Valley with the Lady Vikings volleyball team. Back here on Thursday as the uh, Lady Dragons open their home portion of the season against Plymouth. That's I'm looking forward to that. Uh, they have a special JV coach. <laughs> Kelsey coaching? No, Samantha's coaching JV. Really? Yeah. I did not know that. Her and Lindsay Stiles. Uh, Kelsey does coach. She's the varsity assistant. Okay. Um, so I told Samantha we'll have to get a picture. She wants to get a picture with, with Maddie. Yeah. Her cousin, my niece, who's a senior. And I said, Coach Joe will have to get a picture coaching against his two nieces. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Did not uh, did not realize that. So that'll be a uh, little bit of a family reunion. I told her I had to wear red pants and a black and gold shirt or something because I I honestly can't cheer for. I won't go tell her this. She won't watch this anyway. But I can't cheer for Plymouth at home. <laughs> right. I gotta be a dragon at home. Sorry. I, I'll come watch another game when they play somebody else. But. Well, Phil's giving me that stare down. So we're gonna wrap things up here from Argus Dragons <laughs> win their opener. Be back here on Thursday night for uh, Lady Dragons versus Plymouth. Amy, thanks for uh, joining us. Hey, thanks for having me. Yeah, Val T over here, he's uh, punching out a tweet. The Dragons win, Dragons win. So good night from Argus and beautiful Eugene Snyder Field. We'll see you again from uh, Argus on Thursday.